But first, your road to recovery. For 40 years, Intermountain Hospital has been the lead resource helping those struggling with substance abuse and mental illness. I sat down and spoke with Dr. Christina Harrington and Dr. Theron Adamson to learn more about the challenges of alcoholism. How is alcoholism different than addiction? I don't think it's dramatically different. It's just more acceptable. The neurotransmitter dopamine is the same in all addiction. Alcohol is just more readily available and more socially acceptable. And because of that social aspect, does it make it harder for someone to recognize the red flags of alcoholism? I think so. I think because of that, there's that it's pretty ubiquitous. It's, it's everywhere. Um, and it's socially acceptable. And so when did it progress from a habit to a need? And what are some of those red flags though, that people really need to keep an eye out for for alcoholism? Alcohol uh, use becomes a compulsion. The, uh, the patient continues to use higher and higher amounts to get the same effect. They start to have uh, problems in their life, uh, minor problems, relationship issues, uh, changes in their moods, uh, all the way to legal consequences, losing their job, um, losing their families, losing everything. Those would be some of the things I would watch for. So a wide range of consequences through a very large spectrum. Mm -hmm. So if someone has identified themselves as an alcoholic or perhaps they feel that someone that they know or love is an alcoholic, what do they do? How do they get help? There's a great, a lot of great resources. One is intermountainhospital.com and that will get you in touch with a professional that can help you to decide what are your needs. And tell me more about the services too offered at Intermountain Hospital for alcoholism. We offer assessment. Uh, the patient will see a psychiatrist and an addictionologist, Dr. T. Often we will um, identify that they need detox, whether it be from alcohol, uh, benzodiazepines, or opiates. This usually takes four to seven days, sometimes more, and then uh, they will start to engage in more of the, the rehab process, attending groups, individual meetings, 12-step meetings, that sort of thing. And where can our viewers go for more information? Intermountainhospital.com.